What's up ladies and gentlemen, Chicken Angel Finger here with yet another Barbie's Garden Variety Gaming video. For those that are watching, you may not recognise Darth Void 667 he is my good friend James, he is the Call of Duty Zombie Master, and he is raring to go with some amazing skills. So what you're bound to see when we start this up in a second is basically me being dragged through 50 stages of grief while he does everything for me. So... Hello, James. Say hello to the people of the universe. Hello, people of the universe. <laughs> Let's well, get cracking. <laughs> I mean, if there are any aliens watching, they're more than welcome to. <laughs> well, yeah, I hope that they are, because <laughs> this is going to be the grandest mm. of moments I for us all. Now just dying round one. <laughs> <laughs> It would still be the grandest of moments. Let's face it. But that is true. We haven't we haven't had a, a, a cock up of that magnitude in a long time. It's true. I have faith in you, though. <laughs> like, see, the, what would be the worst round of all time is if you got like you know all of the perks with your gum, mm. and then died. That would be the yeah, worst that, that round was, of all time. It actually would. So I've wasted a gobble gum on that. <laughs> Hopefully, I get shot and free. No, but I will take a alcoholic. <laughs> Is that what you got? You actually got yeah. it straight off the bat. Yeah, right, let's did. die. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing to kill ourselves with. <laughs> oh, you're, okay, you can get that one. Okay. Dead. Um, <laughs> uh, well, I'll die to get a few extra points. I'll do this and see if this helps. Start us oh, off yeah, up, and get the tram up right. nice and early. You never know. Mm. Uh, yeah. An insta kill, which isn't much use because we already have yeah, insta kill yeah. in round one. It's much, yes. Alright, so you want me to get this one open? And we're fortunate because there are random weapon boxes here. Oh yeah, you'll just you get all the parts. <laughs> um, what I'm hoping for is a shopping free couple gun net so I can just open up everything super quick. Oh, oh well. uh, I do not have that. I have um, alchem alchemic and thesis unquenchable on the house, self medication and flavour hexed right now. There, I have to admit that is a decent selection. Um, I do not want that. This is when the gun trolls me a little bit and saying, "Oh, do you want bubble gum?" I'm like I have it. I have Destiny Blues, not in terms of the fact that I'm not playing Destiny, but in Destiny you have like emotes. So whenever I'm standing still, I keep wanting to bloody dance. Oh right, I see what you mean. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of sad they don't have that in this because even Star Wars Battlefront has that. Yeah. You know, like. Well, nothing's happening. We can just like dance with each other. Instead, you've got like the stabby thing that you do with Kelly, but that's just like. Um... <laughs> yeah, that's us having to improvise. Yeah, it's like the stabby emote is improvisation. Just trying to get enough points so I can. Uh... Well, my luck. It would yeah. help if I didn't just shoot at sp air, though. All those zombies, and I shot <laughs> between them all. <laughs> yes, yeah, so the aiming must be slightly different in this game. No, it's just me being a bad shot. <laughs> I have those moments too. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh, I think I'm the German as well. Which is good. Uh, you are. Yeah, you are Richter Pen. And I am um, the Russian. Oh, that's good. Thank you. <laughs> I needed yeah. that. I've got enough points, but I'm just going to yeah, wait until I... You done? Oh, yeah, it's nice. 
Alright, get the mystery box. <coughs> it's not great, but it'll do. What'd you get? Uh, Weevil. Yeah, that's not my favourite either. No, I don't want near death experience. <laughs> yeah, Dane's trolling me. Says the man that got perkaholic with his first spin of the bloody gumball machine. Well, yeah, but that wasn't actually what I wanted. <laughs> Oh, uh, now we're just trying to get enough points to move on, right? Yeah, pretty much. Or if I get the gobble gun I actually want. I've got a tram for you, so I'll use that. <coughs> I feel like I'm essentially trying to speed run this. Oh, of course you are. <laughs> I've built you up to be the greatest zombie man of all time. You need to, like, at least live up to that promise. <laughs> well, it's... Oh, a couple points, though. Um, yeah, that, that helps. That will help. Yeah. So, um, I will now take you to where I need to take you, which is in a different direction. I think. I'm not sure where I'm going anymore. It's been that long since I played the bloody game. Oh, it's up here, isn't it? Oh, it's alright. I've got shopping free, so save your points. Okay, you go ahead and open everything up. I would buy perks, but I don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> alright, show off. <laughs> what I will get is the uh, Bowie knife, because I've discovered how useful that can be. Mm-hmm. Told you this for years and years and years when you... <laughs> Well, it has helped me out as well because it means that I can pick up Jug now. Oh, mm. <clears throat> uh, oh the thing I do want to open up is the teleporter. I did the standard nearly going down thing that I tend to do. <laughs> and I went the wrong way. Right. Alright, I've got Juggernaut. Nice. Alright, I'll go upstairs and do the other one. Yes. So I assume you'll want to do your electric one. Uh, it's the only one I know off the top of my head, I suppose, so I'll do the electric one and I'll let you do the other three. <laughs> Interesting uh, little fact tidbit here is that um, the one that I tend to use, the purple one, is in fact known as the Void Bow. Oh. <laughs> so it's, it's always perfect for me, it's meant to be. Still, my greatest achievement is making your PSN name. Like, you've stuck with it for yeah. this many years, like, it's my greatest achievement. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you wanted 666 and I gave you 667. <laughs> yeah. It has the appropriate amount of fear to it. You know, one worse than the devil and all that. It's really quiet up here because you have all the zombies. <laughs> this, so this is the time when it's like I want the dance emote while this zombie slowly walks towards me at like the slowest pace that I've ever seen a zombie walk I mean, yeah when they're walking they just look like drunk people quite honestly I'll give you that and when they run it's you know Almost like a Jack Sparrow kind of thing. <laughs> I'll also give you that. <laughs> uh, come on, dragon. Get full. There you go. He's done. Right, I'll bring the rest up to you and then... Okay, please do, because this dragon's starved. He's only had one zombie, and that one wasn't particularly edible. Uh. Seemed gammy and quite off. 
Well, zombies do, generally. I mean, I still don't understand them as a phenomenon at all. If they're in a constant state of decay, uh, and yet they can still move around, look, and hear, and... Um, Trust you to get scientific about the bloody thing. It's a game, for fuck's sake. Well, well, you know, zombies is, is just exist in films as well, don't they? Yeah, well... Yeah, I'll give... Well, yeah. They exist in films and television, but they're, like, as fictional as vampires. Well, I, you know, even they... Oh, so to an extent, they actually do make sense. Uh, <laughs> I even I found out that the reason that they need to drink blood is because of, of you know the protein hemoglobin that we have in our blood. Mm -hmm. uh, they can't seem to maintain that. It seems to decay very rapidly, so they're constantly needing a fresh supply. Okay. Uh, which also explains their pale appearance. All right. You have thought about this far too much. You've got too much time on your hands. Well, yeah. I mean, how do you think I became good at this game? So <laughs> You came good at this game, and at the same time you decided to question the zombies, but not the massive dragons on the wall feeding off of the zombies. The fact that we're oh, right, in some right. sort of alternate universe. Um, well, the fact that you can get it's... guns off the wall that are drawn on just by chalk. Yeah. But no, it's well, the zombies right. that you're really curious about. <laughs> well, the thing is, when you have magic as an explanation, that's kind of where you have to leave it. Generally. Well, then oh. zombies are magic. <laughs> <laughs> um, thing. Yeah. Um, did you really? Oh, you are eating that one. Are you done yet? Seriously. Mm -hmm. He's done, finally. Okay, and shield is about to be built as well. Right. Got the boat. Watch out for the zombies coming down the stairs. They'll probably be there in 20 minutes or so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have to tell you my favourite quote that Rick Goffin ever made. Um, it's actually in The Giant, and it's when you pack a punch or weapon, uh -huh. you'll sometimes go, War is inevitable. It, ine 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 War is coming, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, he, he tries to say inevitable like three times and then just gives up. <laughs> what? Oh, that's binded to my upgrade. So, part one of this is now lighting the fires, I believe. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, shoot the weather vane first. Yeah, yeah I did that. Okay. I don't like being there while waiting for this to go down. <sighs> right, wait for this to come down the bloody stairs. Can I get it first, Ryer? Yes. But that one wasn't the hard one. <laughs> the next one's the annoyingly difficult one. Yeah, I mean, um, I've I found a way that might help, actually. It, if you shoot it sort of nearer to the spawn, it's a, it's a better vantage point, I find. I can't even remember where it is. It's way, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's um Oh yeah, it's down <laughs> there. There is no forgiveness in my heart. Past the floating car. Oh, 
I have to say, it does help that you're working on the electric one. <laughs> um, it's the longest, the uh, hardest one to do, I think. Uh, fire one's harder. Alright. <laughs> Which one are you working on? Uh, the void bow. Uh, does that mean that you need to uh, go to the rocket pad? Yeah. Well, they all need to actually in, in the, at their own points. All right, because I will be oh. heading there in a bit. Okay. Um, I need like a few more points though, so oh, unless you're willing that. to pay. <laughs> I went the wrong way. <laughs> Thank you. It's because I just wanted to get my gun more than yeah. anything. Okay, where is it there? That was pretty, not too bad. It only took me three shots on the hardest one and everything else I hit first time, so... Well, um, I'm ready to go back, are you? Yeah, I'm coming. Oh, I forgot that I got mule kicks, so I got three weapons. Yeah, right. <laughs> I like big eagle. <sighs> oh yeah, next is the jump pads. <laughs> that, yeah, that's not too bad, is it? So... it seems the area He's just part of the challenge. Yes. Yeah. Apart from when it's a round of dogs. Yeah. I remember how scary they used to be. Yeah, now they're just easy. Yeah. I'm kind of glad when they come along. Well, it means you get ammo. Yeah. Reload. I'm good. I mean, I don't actually have a gun yet, so... <laughs> oh. You've been using Bowie knife. Yep. That's a good point, Holder. It and I think it's yeah. one one hit kill to, like, round 13 or something, isn't it? It's 10, yeah, but yeah. Typically, I get here um, and the bloody pa the gravity goes back on to normal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Right, um, yeah, do you, you know what I miss? I miss Galva Knuckles from, um, first and second one. Hmm. Well, is it not in the other map then, or is that now just a Bowie knife? Yeah, it's just Bowie knife now. Oh. I should be picking up, um, Call of Duty World War Two in the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Yeah, well, obviously it's going back to World War Two, so I'm happy about that. You know how I like my historical shit. Um, and uh, that's got its own zombie mode in it. Obviously, it's not Treyarch zombies, so it's not the same, but it'll be new zombies. Nice. I've got 20 crawlers. <laughs> I only need six. How did you... Oh, it's because you can jump. I was like, how are you hitting what? me while I'm up here? Oh. Door. You ain't gonna make a story out of it again. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> a man desired with all his heart to be king, and someone showed him the door to do so. <laughs> oh, you made it so optimistic. Where's the pessimism, James? 
Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, a man a wanted man to be died. a king, but someone stole his crown by kicking him out the door and pulling his heart out of his <laughs> chest. Yeah, I prefer yours. <laughs> Although that wasn't in the right order, heart, crown, door. That was, wasn't it? No, because it was heart, crown, door, and I went, I went, crown, door, heart. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it's heart, crown, door. Heart, crown, door. Oh, um, so, uh, ah, claw, uh, teeth, viral. Oh, right, so that's fair enough. He got... When he became king, he got scratched by a claw, then he got um, his leg chewed off by some teeth um, in the Hyrule Kingdom. <laughs> uh, or, alternatively, because that was still too optimistic. Really? I mean, he got maimed twice. He got maimed <laughs> twice. Well, I pulled out his heart and killed him, so really it was quite timid in comparison. Uh, <laughs> I can't even remember what your second lot was, so... It was uh, claw, teeth, high roll something. Oh. I went the wrong way and I had some minor issues, but I've recovered myself. Good. I need double tap. Oh, I can't points, right? Yeah, I can't remember where it is. <laughs> oh, no, no, I do. It's close to, uh, it's close to the spawn, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, I'll go this way. Because I have to go this way anyway. Mind the zombies on the stairs. I was herding them towards what I needed to herd them towards, but... Uh, brown, teeth, I get all six symbols. I think I did. That's amazing. Never done it that quickly. But, there you go. That's because of my brilliant way of helping you remember. The storytelling, yeah. <laughs> Buy a gun. <laughs> I'm going to. Oh, hello. I was going to go and get double tap. But there's a zombie coming towards where I am, so that'll help with this task. Alright, you've completed that already. <laughs> well, yeah, I was, I was just exceptionally lucky for some reason. Just gave me. Uh, have all the symbols, there you go. You should take me like three rounds to get them all. I'm still on part three of five. Mm. Uh, dub. Double tap. Liquid Divinium times two. Who? Do not think I am drinking mm. problem. I drink just fine. Yeah. Well, while I'm waiting for zombies, I might as well get myself another random perk. Oh, you're into the soul filling area then? Uh, I was, yeah. I was on the second part of the soul filling. A dingo? Thanks, Marcus. Please. Cherry bomb. Sweet, that works. They Nikolai very much. Uh, Cherry bomb or widow's wine normally makes me happy enough. Yeah. Widow's wine is a bit of a double edged sword for me. Sometimes it helps and sometimes it just gets in the way. Yeah, I suppose like when they hit you and um, they're then stuck and you're circling quickly, then yeah. Well, if you fancy a max ammo. Yeah. That's just what I needed. Thank you. Alright. Okay, so that one's done, which just leaves. Oh, I'm heading back to the launch pad, unless it just launched. I'm pretty certain it did, but... Yeah, I think there's a rocket test going on. Yeah, well, I can make my way there. I mean, I've still got to hit the arrows and the other ones, so at the end of this, if you could leave a zombie alive, that'd be great. Well, there's another Max Emma if you want one. Thanks. The thing's over now, anyway. Okay. <laughs> One, two, 
didn't keep the arc off. You still? Here, zombies, 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 just need you to come along so I can shoot you in the bum. <laughs> oh, we can spot perhaps then. Oh, it is. <laughs> this tastes so oh, my bad, then. But unquenchable. Ah, that's not bad. Yeah, it means I'll be able to get another perk, so that'll be at least five perks. You know what, since we're waiting, I might as well get started on the wolf bow. Why not? Or on or the fire one, I don't know which one to do actually. Mm -hmm. I'll do the wolf one because actually my tactic is I actually use the bows that I acquire to get the other bows. Sometimes yeah. they do help enormously. <laughs> And, um, yeah, maybe I'll even get us the Ragnarok, too. Sweet. Get the Juggernog. I've already got the Juggernog. Yeah, what is he going on about that? Uh, Ryan. Uh, if you've only got one left, you might as well kill it because I have literally no zombies here. Really? Okay. Well, I'm just going to get this last painting and then uh, do it. I know I've still got two shots to make, but. Oh, are those the, the nasty ones? Uh, no, I've got like one. Easy one and one hard one, but I left it at the time because I thought there'd be enough zombies to get to get there, but there wasn't. <laughs> get it again? No. Oh, here we go. There's one zombie. I just know what's going to happen. I'm down here now, so over the. Crazy fella's gonna appear, or the rocket no, test is gonna happen. Rocket test may be, but big guy doesn't come till round 12, so he should be alright. He might come early, because I'm down here. He never does. <laughs> the, only, uh, the only variation is after round 12. It's, you know, it's kind of like the dog, it's between four to six rounds after that. <laughs> I've been down here for some time. I've seen one zombie. <laughs> oh, here we go. Hello. Is it okay to end the round? Yeah. All right. Well, you, it, it, the one of your bows ended it. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, here he comes, and then this skull just took him out. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> denied you the glory. Denied, denied me what I needed. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's done it. Right. Ah, oh, missed the shot. Not that it's a good idea to make the shot right now anyway, but there you go. No, I wouldn't have thought so. Uh, same as before, just need one left at the end. make them so well to begin with and then like I'll try and get the second shot and I always just fuck it is that the really long one 
No, that was the one down here at the rocket pad. I've just got the really long one to make now. Nikolai did not have fun. <laughs> yeah, I do enjoy that quite. Sorry, my dog's coming to invade. That's fine. Uh, I was going to say you've got a dog, but then I assume it's just zombies. I hate this shot. Oh, yeah, you want one more. Um, I think this might be the last one, so I'm going to lead him away so you get a clearer field of view. I'm just not even getting close at the moment because. All right, there. There you go. That wasn't too bad. <sighs> Third shot. <laughs> I made it. Um... So you just have to fill up the souls now, right? Uh, I'm pretty certain I have to shoot the weather vane again first. Yeah. Like, I do this. And that. Take reforged arrow. Nice. <laughs> I'm just gonna quickly get perk first. Okay. Is that a ra oh, a random one. One of his has moved. Never mind. quite likes the uh, electric bow as well the electric bow is that the one I have because yeah. I always thought of mine as like the storm bow yeah because um, it's all like wind yeah you two may have to fight over that if we uh, play together uh, it's mine <laughs> <laughs> no argument I say this now but if it comes down to it I'll be like yes darling yes dear It's a really good bow for defensive measures, like when it comes to like reviving people and oh, picking cool. up perks and ammo and stuff. I've always found it to be really good at like, I don't need to buy a quick revive because it protects for long enough for me to revive. Yeah. Give me my bow. Never mind. I'll be back for my bow. Sorry. Oh, that's all right. Um, I'm just gonna get myself prepared because hopefully you might spawn on me. Oh, now it's the wrong. Well, it's just in time for me to have the bow, really. 
am I heading to the same spot? Is that ta technique still the technique? Yep, absolutely. Well, I might have to do a bit of clearing. I haven't seen him yet. I, he, yeah, he's not with me, so he'll be with you. Oh, he's here. Get, get, get for safety. There we go. There we go. So easy to kill early on. Oh, absolutely. And then you get like three of them later or four of them, and it's like. Very much looking forward to the um, random weapon box leaving the rocket pad area. Not the random uh, weapon box, the um, one of these. Yeah. Oh no, the uh, pack of Sorry. Uh. Although, actually, I think it doesn't do that until you actually use it first. So. Oh, okay. So which of us is going to use it first? That is the question. I think once I get this bow done, I might pack a punch one of mine. Oh. Um. Let's see. All right, yeah, I'll loop round this way. Because then I can also do this. <laughs> I've called up the gondola. Because oh. <laughs> I have a third weapon. I might as well try and get something decent out of this weapon box. Thank you. Okay, let's try and get rid of this BRM. You don't like the BRM? Nope. I love the ray gun though. I'm sort of just hanging around down here until my shield breaks because it's getting close. Yeah. Although that might obviously screw you up, so I'll in fact take my leave. Back to my usual spot. Start the fire quest! Uh. Well, yeah, eventually, but uh, I'll get my weapon back a bunch first. The weapon, should Yeah, that's what I was waiting for, but I was kind of waiting for like one more enemy or something, just so we didn't get swarmed. But I've got well, the ray gun at the back. moment, so I feel relatively comfortable anyway. Well, I did make a crawler, so. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I need 
Again, I need to wait for the rocket pad to fire. Who knows when that'll be? Can we do that again? That's the one thing. I, w I wish I could like activate the the rocket. What do you need to wait for that for? Uh, well, I need to throw a lever and then um, when the rocket test begins, I need to kill some strange zombies and throw another lever. Oh. And, then we'll and since I know you like trophies, there's a couple of trophies associated with the Ragnarok, so... I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I'll let you do all the work. Uh, here's the last zombie well, for actually, shits and giggles. Yeah, it's good that you're here, actually, because I, I think the electric bow will be uh, ideal for defending us when the time comes. Okay, well, I'm, I'm I'm willing to hang around and just pack a punch in my gun. Anointed Avenger. I'll probably use this gun more than any other gun in this game. Which uh, gun is that? I think it's called the KRM, I think. Oh, no, the KN... Uh, 44, I think it is. Yeah, you turn it into the Anointed Avenger. I could pack a punch my ray gun too. Not a bad idea. I still haven't got another perk. Is the Wonder Fizz in this location, I wonder? Um, no. No? Okay, well then I'll just fall down the hole at the rocket test chamber. Um, <laughs> and then pack a punch my gun. <laughs> Okay, so you want both of us to be here? Well, actually, if you can uh, sit the zombie in here and sure. just sort of hang out with him, um, and I'll give you fair warning that when this comes, that you're going to have like elemental zombies spawn, like ones that are on fire or electrified, but just use your bow for that and it should keep us safe. Okay. Is the rocket pad going to go then or with just the one zombie? Yeah, yeah, it will. It's a timed thing. I think All right. Five minutes, so. Okay. So we might be running around in circles for five minutes, viewers, so I'll uh, try and make it as uh, amusing as possible. Just tell some jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather not, because your jokes are just puns. <laughs> well, all jokes are to an extent. No, because you're like... <laughs> astigmatic and all of that bollocks in you like That's only like, I laugh achievement. Yeah, but I didn't laugh at your joke I laughed at the <laughs> fact that no one laughed at your joke that's what I laughed at yeah it gives really good meaning to the word loud silence <laughs> <laughs> well I've got a few <laughs> courtesy of well not game drums exactly but they read some of these out it's like <laughs> two uh, two cannibals were eating a clown and one turned to the other and said does this taste funny to you? No. <laughs> Come on rocket test. Can you dig it sucker? Do we have any viewers right now? Uh, well, I've had three comments. Uh, I can't look at the third comment right now because I'm currently ship hurling a, a zombie in circles. It's the only one thing that I would like to sort out. Like, they've sorted it out on the virtual reality headset because Shane was streaming yesterday, where the comments pop up in the VR. Oh, right. okay. which I thought was pretty cool um, in this I kind of have to just keep a check on like YouTube itself um, see. let's see if the live chat will load and see if it's given me the quite difficult to do Yeah, and there's going to be another one of this when I start the fire quest as well. Uh, well, just as a heads up, my shield has just gone. Okay. Well, just make sure it doesn't... Oh, here we go. Right. Good right, luck with the that. zombies should be emerging now. Oh, yeah, I see him. I'll give him some cover as well. Oh, 
Well, at least we'll make some points out of it. Yeah. Right. Got all the parts. Uh -huh. Wait for the teleporter to come online and we can go. And I shall build something amazing for us. Cheers. And you can get Do I need to back. put it uh, into a weapon slot or? No, it's actually a. It's a one of those weapon, special but... ones. Is it like the super? Mm -hmm. Like the sword, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the sword in um, finger my job. Yeah, in shadows. Um, yeah. So basically, you know where that second dragon is, uh, above the anti grab chamber. Yeah, I've got um, it. I'm right behind you. Cool. Uh, what was I doing? Well, I suppose fire quest will be next, but. Uh... Whittle down these zombies a bit there, and then. So basically, yeah. If you if you use the uh, Ragnarok, you can basically do uh, your ordinary attack, which just slams the ground. A melee attack, which is crap. But mm -hmm. the one, the great one, is if you press L two, it creates some kind of electrical storm, a bit like your bow. Um, and they all run the towards it, and it's like a trap, and then they all die a painful death because I've already done. Everything. Okay, fair enough. The only disadvantage is you can't pick it up halfway, you have to wait till it runs out. Mm -hmm. Do I have to pick it back up then? Yeah, after it's done. Alright, because I just left it on the floor. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, I thought it was like something that recharged, that was all. Oh, it does, but uh, you need to, yeah, you need to pick it back up after you do that. Yeah, I, I, it's it's back in my hands, in my possession now. <laughs> it was it was just comfortably and happily sitting there. Wasn't it? Mm. Hey. Right. Well, what I'm actually going to do is put my void bow back because I don't want to waste it on the fire quest. Mhm. Mm I use the ordinary one. Well. Because there's basically four sets of complicated shots I have to make. Was I supposed to leave that uh, zombie as alive? Preferably, but it's anyway. Sweet. Actually, I might let them break my shield. I need a new one. I'd bring the party to you. Yeah. Not a problem. Just get my shield. Oh, excuse me, dog. Oh, sorry about that. Just kind of ran into me. That's fine. The only thing that wasn't fully reloaded was my ray gun. Mm. Um. Oh well, there's a treat, and the chest is going already, so I have to wait anyway. Um, yeah, once we get start getting to higher level rounds, I can put on uh, power vacuum and um, make things a whole lot easier for us. Yeah, case, we that start. means we won't get max ammo for nine years now. <laughs> yeah, it's, it is the way. Isn't there like something else that you can do after getting all four of the um... Yeah, that's the only thing I don't know how to do, and that's basically the story easter egg. Well, Alright, to it, get... It, but... yeah. Was it difficult? Because <laughs> it looks difficult, the tiny little yeah, bit of it I've seen. Yeah, it looks hella complicated. I mean, there's a proper boss fight in it, and it's... I mean, I think it, you know, even us, we could, we could essentially do it, but uh... Well, you can do it, and I'll just distract them with my dead body. <laughs> well, hopefully with your electric fire, it will be some kind of chance. 
Yeah, I know. I know that there was a boss, and I'm pretty certain it involves like knights. Although um, I might be thinking of something else entirely, but I'm pretty certain that's what the boss is on this one. It's like a hidden room. Thing. Yeah, it's like a big spirit type figure, is what I could see. All right, cool. Uh, oh damn it! That was my bad. No, I killed one at exact same time as you. Uh, it's fine. You've got plenty of time. It's because yeah, we're getting um, excited about having um. Oh well, that was a bad time to pick up the original one. Okay. Well, I'm already up there because I was making my way elsewhere. No problem. Um, he's with me anyway. Ah. I'm just gonna activate this trap here. Ah. Weird. Um. Okay, he's here. Ow, 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 ow. I hope so. Right. <laughs> He's dead. Oh, got on me, Is Tess going to get... Aww. <laughs> That's fine, I can do this. Or you can do that, and it saves me having to do this. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was Well, I have my super basically. Oh, okay. So I was gonna pl put, plop that down, but I didn't have to. Yeah. Um. Right. Let's try and get back to a plan here. Yep. Ow. Oh, yeah. <sighs> um. Um, right, so I've only got a couple left, so I'm going to try... I've and... currently got none on me whatsoever. Okay, well they might end up spawning on you, so just keep them around for a bit, that's all right. <laughs> right. Should I? Well, I suppose not, because if you die, then it's probably game over anyway. I was going to get... I'm still looking for where that other bloody random perk thing's gone. Oh, the wonder if it's, Um... I've and tried. I've the tried the left-hand side where you get the first dog, and it wasn't there. So I'm now currently looking in um, some different areas. Okay. Okay, I've got a zombie on me here. A couple, actually. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. I've well, got we'll one. I've got I'll one. Take, take care of these two then. Um, I've lost where that one is, just so you know. That's alright, I'm gonna go over to the rocket pad so it'll stay with you most likely. Okay. I'm gonna continue to look around like a lost puppy. For my... Um, there's one, you know, in sort of Rick Toppin's room. Yeah, that's where I was heading. I was just yeah. heading a roundabout way to it, I think. Because we didn't go the usual route to get to the power, that was all. Oh, right, right. Right, I've got a zombie on me. Oh, yeah, so it's the one in Rick Toffin's room. What did I get? Oh, yes. Deadshot Dakari. You like that one? I do, because it gives me instant headshots. Mm. I've never found it that useful, did you? It's great if I can get, then, the weapon that I would be useful for it from the random weapon box. Mm. But more monkeys will be useful. Oh, you got that? Yeah. Nice. That's a good gun to have, though. Oh, I'll just keep it as is. I ain't gonna spend any more points now. 
I'm down to 6,000 just in case the worst happens. Yeah. I want to keep myself at least solidly around this mark so I can uh, try to get back in it if the worst happens. Yeah. I mean, I will. I, I've got one gobble gum in my arsenal that um, I can revive you just by being near you, and you would keep all your perks, but the one downside is that. Uh, you got to be near me. And we. Well. <laughs> oh, what? It's four it's... rounds. Yeah, like three or four rounds or something. I've sort of shook the zombie loose again at the minute. Oh, fine. I'll probably find you still. <laughs> Better. Waiting. In yeah, anticipation. Well, yeah, that's the bad thing about this fire bow. It's like, it is amazing once you have it. Um, but it does involve a few very complicated. Steps. I mean, I've gotten better at it as time's gone on, but... Well, it was the one bow that we had never really gotten. Mm. Yeah, you're welcome <sighs> to try it, but isn't it? I should probably, like, just quickly put down and pick up the other ones while I'm here. Yeah, for trophy purposes. Ah. Although I didn't get a trophy for the Ragnarok. No, what you have to do is, um... If I go down, basically, if you do the, the magnificent attack thing uh -huh. and arrive me under that protection, I think you have to do it twice. You get one for that. Uh, I've currently um, got this bow, whatever this bow is. Uh, what one? What, what, uh, what one? Uh, Le Creme Slap. It's like white. I think it's the spirit bow. Oh, right. That's, that's the one. Yeah, no one tries to call it by their actual names. It's <laughs> Apart from me. I'll return <laughs> the Cree hello and I shall pick up the Craig Khalit Lugosata Hohm. Well, the Void Bow, we can call it. <laughs> or the Void Bow for short. Um... Hey, it's starting. Nice. I just hope I don't screw it up. Okay, good, good luck. Good. Thank you. Do each of the bows have like their own ammo then? Yeah. Oh, so, so if I run out... Another good reason to you know, keep them around. Wouldn't it be cool if you could just have like three fucking bows? <laughs> well, that's what I thought you could have, but I realised it doesn't quite work that way. <laughs> I'd love to just have like you know the void bow, the electric, and you know maybe the fire if I have mule kick, but no, I don't let you. Hmm. No. No, I fucked it up. All right. Well, yeah. Next round. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll have a bit of power, power vacuum, why not? Got one left, anyway, I'm in a bad place, what did I come in here for? Alright, moving on. I'll take my usual route back up to where I belong. Mm -hmm. Wing And I'm out. Oh, well. oh yeah, you're gonna... Start getting like a bunch of uh, drops now. Oh, let me guess, you got a gobble gum of proportions. Yeah, I got power vacuum, so we'll have uh, drops out of the out of the wazoo. Here. Okay, well that's fine. That'll get us through some rounds pretty quickly. Yeah, and it'll keep your ammo topped up. That'll get us to round twenty-three with no problem. Hopefully, yeah. Because <laughs> I'm going to stay here and try and get the, uh, the, the rocket tests thing when it decides. Uh -huh. I'm glad that they finally realised that there isn't any point in um, 
putting down ammo for the death machine. Yeah. <laughs> well, they used to have like an ammo count for it, didn't they? But now it's just like, no. Um, the only thing I don't like about the death machine is the sound it makes. I preferred actually the Black Ops 1 sound. I can't remember the Black Ops 1s. <laughs> I've got one crawler left, so I'm going to attempt this rocket thing again. It's, it's okay, well, if you keep that crawler alive, I can have a cigarette. <laughs> you know, and then if it despawns, then you can be like, hey, Shane, you're going to die. And I'll be like, okay, I'll pay attention again. Sorry. Well, you can also check the comments if you want on the YouTube. It was just a fellow YouTuber just starting out saying that if I gave him a subscription, then he would raid, do Twitch style raids for us. But make it my own or our own way. But I appreciate the offer all the same. See what they the stream is getting to witness right now is me standing still while you're epically running around doing whatever it is you're trying to do. Yeah. I mean it's only marginally more interesting, so they're not missing much. Oh okay, that's good. <laughs> Well, until I actually do what I'm supposed to. Oh yeah, because you're waiting for the five minutes for the thing to come back. So you keeping the crawler alive for five minutes does give me a rest, I suppose. Yeah. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is sometimes crawlers just die. Despawn and then obviously, but if that happens, you'll know and I'll be able to go and set a light to my house while scrambling for the controller. <laughs> See, because that's the one thing that multiplayer is lacking. I can understand why, but it would be decent if there was an uh, ability in a private game to agree to a pause and then both push the options yeah. button and then there'd be a pause. Like, you can do that on single player. So, like, for you, when you're having a high round, you can pause it, go away for a bit, get something to eat or whatever, have a bit of a break and then come back. But for us, it's just like we have to do it all in one session. I know. I mean, and, hey, at least we actually have the option to, you know, zombie sit, as it were. Well, it's true, there is always zombie sitting. <laughs> uh, come on, Rocket Chess. Why isn't there a way you can manually <coughs> set it off? It's much easier. Because why would you, well, other than obviously doing the tasks, why would you want to? It's it's a painful experience sometimes down there. Yeah, it can be, especially if you get caught in it. But luckily that hasn't happened for a very long time. <sighs> well, I suppose while I'm standing around, I'll go <laughs> and use my tram fuse because they're dropping like loads of them as well. So. Mm. Yeah, just make sure if it's a nuke, not to get it. Yeah, yeah, if it's a nuke, I won't get it. You could always, like, um, I know there's no dance emote, but just sort of make one up with the controls you do have. <laughs> oh, here we go. Well, I'm sure this will help you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching the rocket fire and I'm watching you. Mm. Yeah, you might even get the sooner you do it. Uh, uh, I see lots of flames. But yeah, you will do. It's not going to finish for a few seconds, yeah. Right, I need to be right at the doors. Alright. Uh. I see a glowy thing, and I see you running about. I see you uh, hit... Uh, 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 uh. Right, Did you... Well, uh, I missed it. You missed it? It looked like you hit it from here. I know, but the, the, the aiming is really, really specific with it. Can you see my bow? I did. You know, oh, there. <laughs> right. That was a good yeah. shot. What a good shot. <laughs> 
If oh, only wow. I could do that for the fucking flames, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> No, oh, fuck. I just did it again. Oh. <laughs> you? Uh, I activated the gate trap and got crushed by the gates like I always fucking do. Uh, the gate? Okay, you right. I've crawled away from the gate. I'm, um, in the opening dragon area. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> I always fuck. Every time I go, I'll activate the gate trap, but this time I'll activate it inside and be careful, and then walked into the other gate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's two of them, aren't there? So. Yeah, I did not pay attention, basically, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> well, that's right. You created a, enough of a point backdrop for you, so. Yeah, well, that's what I did, because... It's always me that kills me. <laughs> it is. Okay. Right, double tap. And Juggernaut brought. Oh yeah, it's in that area, so let's go and... Uh, it's oh. this way. Hey, with any luck, I might actually get this. Oh. you got any zombies on you? Oh, Shhh. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Hopefully it might time this quite well, so... Oh. Damn it. I'm having real trouble with it this time, but... I'll, I'll keep going. <laughs> it's alright. I have exactly the same perks as I got last time. The only thing that I don't have is a um, good point scoring gun. I've just the gun that it decided to lose was um, the machine gun. So I've only got the ray gun and the bow right now. Oh, okay. Then. Well, I just lost my shield, so I should probably take a little journey to get that back. Whoops, there's like three kabooms around here, so I might as well get yeah. the other two while they're all dead. Yeah. The points. And now I'm back to good enough points. <laughs> Zombies are still spawning, so we're alright. I was creeping into the insta kill while avo trying to avoid the explosion thing. <laughs> okay, well, all right. Yeah, I was just making a decision because my K my um 
machine gun I obviously have it modded with quick re reload anyway so I don't need quick reload um, whereas the ray gun is taking too long to reload so I am going to switch it up and pack a punch the KN44 hey I got it finally yay so now I just have a few more complicated shots to make Well, that was terrible, but, um, yeah, I can just get these shots done. Some, well, two of them are not bad, but one of them's horrible, kind of like the electric, though. Mm-hmm. But I can do them. I, 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 not even like a, well, no, that was terrible again. But, um. You got to hit the sun. No, I got to hit the, uh, flaming surface. Yeah, the flaming sun. Was it like a star? Um, no, there's when I go in the you know the, the jumpy things, the wonder spheres. Uh, yeah, there's like a up. red floaty thing over there. Mm. Oh, I missed that again. Right. Um, maybe if I try the other one, I'm I'm glad I built up a good amount of points because this could take a while. <laughs> I'm to, I'm just following you. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm right, somehow okay. able to get in the jump pad even after you've <laughs> gone and come with you. Yeah, I got that one. That's the hardest one. Alright, so now I have to get the maybe other one. Oh. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself uh, following me doing these things. Well, it's <laughs> keeping me up. It's like I am the cameraman who's documenting yeah. none of what's happening. Oh. <laughs> 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 I didn't like that, but... <laughs> Ready? You go and then I can follow, look. No, I still didn't get it. Come on. This isn't even the hard one. Because <laughs> um, from here on out, it gets a lot easier after I do this. Why didn't you get back over the other one? Um, well, I don't want to waste the points, really, because it's only one that I need right now. Oh, okay. I don't want to waste the points, he says, with 19,000. Well, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm using 500 at a time here, so... That's true. That looked ah. like you got it. I didn't know. No. You'll hear a sound. Uh, you know, like that, the dogs dying, that sort of yeah, sound. That's uh, how you know you got it. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I'm struggling on this one. Or I got the hard one the second time. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, it's happened sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> yeah, that didn't look like it was close. <laughs> no. Maybe if you stand right here, I can uh, just aim for you and then... <laughs> yeah, sure. You can be my bait. Um, and it, yeah, and that way you can say, you know, how successful I was. Oh, that helped. See that? <laughs> you were just slightly to the right. Well, it did work though. <laughs> Maybe the game just said, "All right, you got it. Never mind." No, you didn't even technically get it, but we'll give it to you. <laughs> I like to think that. But yeah, you can kill the next. You can kill the zombie now. We'll start around. Oh, did you get it? Yeah. All right. I thought he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I was just. I was laying down in the spot waiting for you to get it, and you would have gotten it already. <laughs> Besides, that was the old me that was trying to take over the world with zombies. And... Oh yeah, but not still there. <laughs> That's my shield gone. That's what, sorry? My shield gone! Oh. That one 
Bum, and... I knew it was getting close, so. Yeah. Such big mouth, but tiny body. Just need to. Okay, there's a lot of them. Um... Time for barrel to science and bullets to spray spray. I think. I tell you, I kind of miss the sound of the electric one using this one. You what, sorry? I'm using the void one. I miss that <laughs> sound that the electric one makes. Oh, I see. Yeah. I thought, you know, while you're um, busy getting a thousand, although you've got the other bow, so I can only try that one out. But I was like, I'll just... Because that one didn't have full ammo. I was like, I'll... Uh, Refill that up while I'm here <laughs> by using it. Yeah. Oh, probably. Have you still got a shot to make then? Or are you charging no, it up? Yeah, charging it up, soul collecting. Oh. I'll stay out of your hair then. Whatever you do, don't throw this switch. It will <laughs> kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, yeah. I don't tend to use those, those traps. Here. Some Electric of the traps are great, but that gate one has killed me 100% of the time that I've used it. I've not... Once used it without dying. Are you serious? Yeah. I'm not be I'm being deadly serious. Do I, do you want me to stand in that spot where it is? No, no, I'm good, thanks. But uh, if you could zombie sit for a bit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some more shots to make. Um. <laughs> uh, so it's not that one. I can't know which one it is. What? Which one that you need to hit? Yeah, because um, uh, I've got three fireplaces, um, you know, that of, you know, one of three I need to hit, and it's, there's always a clue about which one it is, so it's probably, yeah, it's that one. Um, so what I'll do... Um, I think I know, like, the, where one of the fireplaces is, at least. Yeah. Um, have you got a zombie on you? Uh, no. Okay, I'll, I'll give you this one, and then I'll uh, add you... <laughs> is it this okay. fireplace um that is one of them but actually it's not the one that i need so okay it's actually one in the um ripped room I believe. oh is there a telltale sign like it's spewing out demonic uh not at this point but it will once i uh reach there mm -hmm. well you have fun with that Oh, will be. Um, I'm just, just going to test my uh, aiming prowess with this bow, which is, you know, mediocre. <laughs> well, apparently so. Unless it's the really, really hard one, in which case it's really easy. Yeah, it's strange how that works. <laughs> Babysitting zombies. Just make it so well. Uh, oh, no, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this may not go to plan. Okay, um, well, I am currently trying to get a drink while running around with a zombie. Alright. Um. Oh, I've had a zip. There we go. Alright. Uh, yeah, <coughs> Just not gonna. Nope. Uh, uh, Alright, next round. <laughs> as foul as you look. It's not the easiest one to do, I'll have to admit. Uh, oh, it's dogs. 
<laughs> oh, big guy. Not such a good time. Eh, yeah, we'll be fine. He's on me. Uh, there's a second one. Oh, hi. I got one, ah. the second one's killed me. He's coming up to you now. Um, okay. um, I'm coming up to you as well. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, now we'll have to do the gr biggest sprint of all time. I know, right? <laughs> uh, where's the... That's there. Oh, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> have you still got the... Um... Oh, no, that's ended, I'm afraid, yeah. Um, oh, I'm gonna have to just bite the bullet here. This drink brings back so many long forgotten right. memories. You got a bunch of zombies heading towards you. Not a problem. Five bows nearly done, so. Sweet. <laughs> Your skin burns. Your blood boils. Just get the damn thing. Got it. All right. I got flavor hexed, and the flavor hexed gave me bored to death. Uh, not the best it could have given me. It's not the best one to have on this map. There's yeah, not there that many windows. I think so. I'll put it back. The Kree Al Kree Hahu am now am a Gogora. It's pretty satisfying what can get sucked into hell. Although you still prefer your electric theory. <laughs> uh, no, I just didn't. I was hoping for a trophy and it hasn't given it to me yet. Um, have you, oh, you may need to take the Oh, there, one there it is. Oh, okay, yeah, it takes a while. Alright, uh, I should... Uh, do you want to remain down here? Because I'm not fast, by the way. Um... 
no, I'm used to being up top. It's just that I did use up a bit of ammo in the flame one, so when you right. do need to use it, then. There's just like no fucking boards around here, I swear. Uh, most of them are kind of in the spawn area, typically. Yeah. Oh, thanks, fire sale. Woohoo. I'll try my luck. Yeah, I might. <laughs> I run away from a random weapon box to get to a random weapon box, I don't know why. Um, what I want to do is... Uh, that did not kill the nearby zombies at all. Uh, uh, and that was I'm the gun bit, that I needed, I think. I'm in a bit of a pickle because, um... I'm in the rocket test area, and there's a rocket test going on, so I may not be able to get to you. Oh, uh, that's fine. I mean, you'll be able to, like, you've got enough points to uh, get back in it. It's just, well, guns might be a problem. At this point where I'm down for the second time, when you do watch this back, what the fuck are those zombies doing? What do you like, mean? you'll see what I mean if you do watch it back. What the fuck are those zombies doing? Like, the ones that I was pointing at. There you go. Ah, uh, sorry. So, when you watch that back, ended. you'll see what I mean. Okay. Um, because my plan was, I wanted to repack my weapon, but then at that point you went down and then the top rocket test began. So, that was a bit of a bit unlucky. No, it's fine. Um, it wouldn't be a, a normal matchup if we didn't have the whole me being the fawn in your proverbial side. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Um, don't. I've only had three downs. That's not too bad. 25 rounds in after not playing it for ages. I mean, that's, yeah, that's very true. It still doesn't beat Kelly's uh, 64 back on farm. I got 64 downs. Hmm. I'm surprised you were still playing. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, I have no time to reflect on my own weariness. At least when I am down and out of it, they've got you to watch in the stream. Oh yeah, at this point. <laughs> and you've got you to watch in third person, so you'll see the weirdness. Thanks for spawning me right here, away oh, from sorry, everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need a gun. Yeah, admittedly that wasn't my plan to spawn you here. It's fine. It's because I, I used the bow for cover and um, you know, it killed everything. Mm -hmm. Sure. Sure. <laughs> right, well. I think that this last will see a bit. Okay, well uh, I was like, well while I'm here I'll use my fuse that I lost when I died. Oh. It's alright, mm. I don't really need it, I was just about I've got everything that I need apart from a pack a punch gun, so. Pack a punch is currently at the rocket pad, so I shall wait for that to move. Mm. Saved myself the points. I've got three bows to choose from. Yeah. Again, pity you can't use them simultaneously. Mm -hmm. That'll just make it far too easy, that's why. Oh uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> the 
I mean, you've made it easy enough for yourself with... Um, the tools that have been given to you. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I found that to do well in this game, you just have to basically use all the precautions you can. Um, you know, even if Treyarch tells the sites, just hide them completely. <laughs> what you're trying to say is that it plays to your methodical nature. And if you do your methodical routine where it almost becomes like a trance, you'll survive forever. More or less. Well, not forever, because, you know, the problem is with the systems I set up, the systems are fine, but my ability to keep to them 100% is not quite there. I can do that. I'd get bored. <laughs> That's why I have smart ideas and things like that. Yeah, to spice things up, I suppose. Yeah. I mean, they never work out. Like, don't get me wrong, it's always a terrible experience, but... Oh. So where do you train now, then, if you don't train down here anymore? Um, I do. Um, my two spots... Oh, God. Um, I'm going to lose a gun, then. Uh... Um, yeah, it's either the anti-grav or where the big trap where we catch the big guy is. Oh, right. Is that where you are right now, then? No, I'm at the rocket pad, and it's once again screwed me over. I notice how, it, you know, it's giving me rocket tests constantly now, but I don't need them. Uh-huh. Why is it screwing you over? Why are you at the rocket pad? That is the question. Uh, oh, because you're pack-a-punching. Or repacking, yeah. I lost a gun because of that. <laughs> Although, to be fair, I, I think it's... I panic. I slightly overreacted, so... Like I am right now. <sighs> You'll be able to tell moments where I panic. The right, moments where I panic is where I sort of place the controller in the most random of placements and then just fire about 1500 arrows. <laughs> or perhaps I am immune. Perhaps this will Thank you. Last one, that's what I wanted. And now, since I'm down again, I'll um, go to the. Uh, oh, wait, isn't the random wet box. No, it's not a good thing, is it? No, the random wet box is still in its original placement, it hasn't moved. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, it's not going that way. Uh, that was another panic moment, and there we go. Right, okay. Well, uh, not a problem. I'll, um, I'm on route. I'm uh, by the arrows. <laughs> um, it'd be nice to have an anti grab on at this point, but not a problem. Alright. Give you a bit of cover. Not quite sure why I went down there. I had myself covered with 1,500 bows, so it shouldn't have been a well, problem. The thing is, with the electric bow, you can only create one storm at a time. Yeah, no, but I was just, like, firing... Like, you fire a bunch of arrows, and it should protect you, but I, I just got caught up, and I'm just not used to that area. Yeah. I, know it's, I know for a fact that it's a really good route, like, it's a good area to train, which is why, yeah. um, like you've said before, I'm normally quite good at discovering things and sort of pointing oh, out yeah. good areas, whereas you're the one that then goes on and perfects the methods. <laughs> I'm the scout and you're the uh, soldier, so to speak. The strategist, yeah. Yeah. I've still not pack a punch this. And I need double tap, which is not here, it's back this way.
Well, oh, that's right. the first yeah, time I've all... survived the uh, trap. <laughs> oh, well, see, there you go. First time for everything. Um, but yeah, at least your downloads will probably be done by now. <laughs> uh, I know for a fact the Tekken one is. Because uh, it came up. I can't remember if the other one is or not. Imagine it would be. If you said it was only 20 minutes about an hour ago. Yeah, <laughs> I know, but once you're playing a game, it tends to be like, mm -hmm, about stuff. I feel that we've got like at least another five, six hours yet on this, so. <laughs> well, yeah, things go well. James, you've not gone down once and we're on 28. We're only like <laughs> five away from our best. Well, you know. Oh, oh that's not right. We got to uh, 51 on this, didn't we? I don't think we did. I think together we've only been as high as like the. I think it's over 32 or 42. Sure we got to like 50 something on this. Maybe. I mean, that was the one uh, that you were dragged kicking and screaming, basically. Was it level 50, the one dragged and kicking and screaming? I think so. Although, to, <laughs> to be fair, now that you say it, I think um, the other <laughs> night I was playing this, just for a, you know, I wasn't intending to get a massively high round, but I got to round 53 without dying once. There we go. Finally broke my button thing, right. Oh, you need a shield. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll... No, I do need a shield, I'll just... There we go. I was um, being hugged by a oh. huge groupie of zombies. Did you have... Uh, do you have Widow's Wine? No, I don't have... Uh, I have two perks. You, uh, I've been down four times, remember? Well, you got enough points to... Yeah, I know, I know, I know, it's just... I don't know if you spotted what was happening there where I was in a corner for a minute. No, I, I tried to leave the zombies around so they weren't such a threat to you. Uh, they were. Oh, they were very much a threat. As in, I was in a corner, they were hitting me, I fired my bow and then crouched and survived. <laughs> well, thank God for that electric bow. Oh, yeah. That's why it's the best. But I'm down to 19 um, things left on it. Oh, right. Um, what I can do about that. Ah, well. Uh, <laughs> if you wanted to, <laughs> if you happened. wanted to use the random weapon box, I'm afraid <laughs> I've just moved. <laughs> Not a problem. I've, uh, I'm, I'm pretty much done with it. I think. Uh -huh. <sighs> you want me to keep some stuff alive while you? Uh, um, it's not going to be an issue. <laughs> Jesus, what happened? Uh, I went for a gobble gum. I wonder what gobble gum that was because uh, the lion enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, bye, double tap. The gates aren't on, don't worry. I just generally died this time. I was like, I really wanted to uh, get a gobble gum like, to help me. And it was just like, nope, <laughs> death becomes you. Mm. Well, there you go. Now's your chance to get one. <sighs> yeah, I suppose. Oh, I'd need to get double tap again. Not that it's any use because I don't have a pack a punched gun. Mm. Well, to be honest, it's kind of the perks on the guns that do the. the oh, okay. We've got a uh, big guy problem. So. Okay, well, I'm heading there now. Well, yeah, there's a second one, so hopefully it won't cut you off. It's on me. I'm here. I... Don't have much to work with, though. That's all right, I'm on my way, so... Uh... Okay, no problem. We're going to be joined by a big piece of anything in a minute. Yep. 
Oh, they're both here. That's good. I need my, um... Uh, some ball action on this. Well, that's one down. <laughs> and we got an ammo out of that. And an insta kill. Yeah, we're sorted now. Oh, pack punch machine. <laughs> It's all fire coming fire. up, birdie! <laughs> and a fire cell, it's the greatest day ever. And another max cell, yeah. Jesus! I don't even have the trouble going on for that. <sighs> it's just being kind. And a nuke! Are you sure you don't have that yeah, gobble gum? Maybe it's I, my. I just, maybe it's the residual of my gobble gum. I didn't get to have it, but it's just like the residual of it has helped us there. Yeah. Um, well, speaking of which, I'm, I might, because if I got the near-death experience one, that might be good, because I know things are starting to get a bit tough for you, so... Uh, tough? Uh, not at all, it's been a piece of piss. I have at least got nearly back to as good as I need, I suppose. I mean, yeah, as long as you have the points to do it, which you do, so... I've got double tap back for the first time in uh, three deaths, so... <laughs> I can actually point whore a bit again, which is useful. Hmm. Okay, right, well let's try and repack. Last furnace. That's a good one. Um, great for points, great for killing lots of zombies. I mean, I've come to appreciate each and every one of them now, because they all have their uses. I mean, I still don't like Thunderwall that much, but. Um... Uh, I found a water displays on. I like the way that you're like, I've come to appreciate all of them. What does fireworks do? Seriously. Um, fireworks is good for, like, getting rid of the zombies quickly. You know, oh, okay. if you're in like a tight spot, they just kind of, it takes out like 20 more or less instantly. It doesn't give oh. you so much points for it, but it's it's good. It's just good for clearing the way if that's what you need. <sighs> Who would have known that watching this today would give you a scientific uh, teaching lesson on everything that everything does? Mm. Now all I need for you to do is for you to die, me to somehow remember to place down the thing and revive you. <laughs> <laughs> While two, two of the Ragnaraks are attacking me, and then I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, but we got the four bows, what do we do next in terms of the story? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, um, there... From what I remember, there's a couple of things we would need to shoot. Um, a spiritual figure appears. I can only vaguely remember this, but um, we need to use awful bows because they uh, require you, you know, to fill up the souls. But it's specific to you know, a, the bow. A type of bow. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can't remember half of it, so there's no point. <laughs> and besides, I'm not that keen to get. Uh, that because it's only a little Easter egg. You don't actually get anything for it. You, know? you do. You get the story. The story that we played absolutely no part of. We've not done any of the Easter eggs in any of the games apart from Mob of the Dead, which is entirely not connected to the rest of them. <laughs> Mob of the Dead is the only Easter egg story I've ever completed. In fact, no, you do get an Easter egg, as or there is a use to doing it for some. I know for a fact that when you do them, you get all of the perks. It's like getting you a perkaholic if you don't have perkaholic. Uh, well, I mean that you know that seems a bit of a of a trek to do, right? When you can just get a gobble gum and get it more or less for free. Yeah, <laughs> but if you are not you and therefore never get. <laughs> Perkaholics and have only ever had two in your entire career of using the machine to give you gobble gums, mm. then you would know that it's probably easier for me to try and do a story Easter egg than get the perk because 
my RNG is that bad. Like, Kelly's like, oh, I got Perkaholic. And you're like, yeah, I'll just use my 1500 Perkaholics. <laughs> and I'm like, I've only ever had two. <laughs> You can always purchase COD points that give you liquid divinium. No, because the liquid diviniums don't give me the gobble gums I want ever. Well, I mean, the more you get of them, the higher chance you do have. Uh, I'm like, I'm generally being honest with you. Uh, however many years we've been playing Black Ops Three now. With, I mean, obviously Zombie Chronicles has brought us back into it um, earlier on in the year and everything, but. I have, in my entire time of playing this game, with all of the liquid diviniums that I've put into that machine, only ever had two Perkaholics. One of them, one of them, I used on this exact map, and we didn't do too badly. And the other one I had, I got while we were trying out one of the new maps and therefore it was a complete waste like we lasted like <laughs> six rounds or something and i had six rounds of having percaholic and that was it <laughs> so, so don't be like, or oh, oh, you should, because yes, the story would be easier for me. Yeah, but I mean, if you're if you're struggling sort of nowish, you know, the, the, from what I saw, story Easter egg is so much harder. Yeah, but <laughs> I've got you. Well, I mean, I'm I'm as experienced as you are in that uh, story Easter egg. I've never done it. No, well, I've done the Mob of the Dead one. Mm. Well, um, you, as I recall, you dragged me through that kicking and screaming because that was my most hated map. <laughs> I liked that map. I didn't think it was bad as you made out. It had some really decent, like, things to it. Mm. I've come to get a shield when it breaks. Okay. I'm sure we can hang out together with it, not all going wrong. Well, I suppose we've got two bows, and you know that might provide enough cover to. Uh... Oh shit! <laughs> well, do you know what, Shane? It's quite lucky that I have this near-death experience thing on because um, now you don't have to worry about perks. Hopefully. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I go down as much as you want in the next two rounds. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me that. <laughs> 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 Well, I want to make the most use of your gobble gum. I might as well, you know. <laughs> was that on purpose? Yeah, that was actually on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> now, watch me not be able to revive you. Uh, yeah. uh, that's that's the last time because it costs me <laughs> points. I realised <laughs> it. It's like it won't cost you any points to get back up. No, it might not, but it cost me points to die. So I'm not going <laughs> to do it anymore. Oh god, I hope that doesn't apply to real life. No, you can't die unless you make a payment. Mm. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, assuming, of course, that we discover immortality, which I really hope we don't. It just seemed like a complete waste. Like, I've learnt that the opposite of things at times can teach you about the positive side of things. Yeah. Like, you know, death makes you, uh, puts you in a position where you can appreciate life. Life, yeah. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't, I mean, it's not a perfect theory because obviously there being, um, negative things in the world like pain and suffering allows you to appreciate the happy good stuff but th that's not necessarily a, a, a decent a justification yeah. yeah if yeah thank you for using english better than me um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I know what you mean and i've never been comfortable with that idea because it's like well, bad things can you know you appreciate good things and whilst i concede that is true 
it's like it doesn't mean oh that means the bad things are perfectly okay then you know yeah it doesn't mean that they're okay but without them you wouldn't be able to appreciate this is the best of times if you didn't have the worst of times in our current world, yeah, but I still envision a world where that is possible, where the rules, you know, are different. <laughs> well, this is this is the thing is that Kelly has said that you're like totally planning to somehow become God, or the leader of the <laughs> free world. Um. <laughs> well, I just imagine you know the film Bruce Almighty. What if that was me, and what would I do? Um, and I came up with all the sort of planning that I could do, and you know Kelly could be my sort of personal assistant working for me, and you know. I just, I feel like, um, I don't know, like, <laughs> how do I put this? I suppose, like, you know what worries me is the whole minority report idea that because you're God, you'll be able to tell the choices that people are either going to make or not going to make. And uh, it's like predestination style thing that like you would make decisions on punishment before someone has committed anything wrong oh i see what you mean um no i probably wouldn't do that i'd only punish people for things that they have actually done um because if i knew people were going to do bad things i might without directly interfering with free will i might be able to sort of like subtly change things to sort of stop that but you know <laughs> you're, you're worried i've become some kind of power crazed dictator and <laughs> uh well yeah to an extent because the like you're very passionate about your beliefs within the world and how society operates you're the type of person that doesn't necessarily agree with everything that the world has to offer and you you have every right to have those opinions it's just that i feel that because you're so passionate about your beliefs that you would um quickly do you know that whole thing when i was like one day you'll get angry and you'll destroy the world that yeah yeah that <laughs> no i wouldn't destroy it i i didn't have to remold it if anything yeah and it's like you know just because uh you have your view it doesn't mean that everyone sees the world in the same way or would find happiness and enjoyment from the same things that you would do you know what i mean no I, I do, and you know that's absolutely right. But at the same time, I feel like um, some sometimes we you, you, you face the danger of uh, coming into what we call moral relativism, where yeah. everything is equally valid, and in other words, nothing. <laughs> you know, I think there has to be some kind of values that are held above others in order to, uh, to sort of for anything to mean anything, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'd only attempt to sort of get rid of the bad things and encourage the good things, you know, again, which is subjective to my point of view, I realise, yeah. but, um, you know, it's just, I, you know, the world as it is, is just, you know, quite a depressing thing to think about a lot of the time, you know, uh, a lot wrong with it. Oh, I believe differently. Not saying, notwithstanding that there is some horrible things going on in this world at the moment, there are more countries at war with each other than ever before, um, and, you know, there's an awful lot of suffering that shouldn't be happening and that we should do more to solve. Um, but I also believe that there's a lot of good in the world that is shrouded and hidden by the media and their agenda at pushing um, Greek tragedy, so to speak, People like to see or enjoy the entertainment of other people suffering. Or I'm, I'm not sure why, but bad news is good news for the media. It sells papers. Oh, yeah. It makes people tune into the news. Um, so... And that's, you know, there's also those types of political biases as well. Yeah. Which again sort of favour their readers. And I think because all you ever see in media, in television, and in news, and in uh, the broadsheets that you may or may not read, um, is negative, you begin to forget the amount of positive things that people do in the world, like charity and trying to better things, you know? Oh no, I, I don't wish to, um, you know, undermine 
the efforts that people do. But I suppose what frustrates me is that there are people who are out, out there who are doing the good things, but you actually have other people who are actually opposing it because, you know, it doesn't fit in with their personal agenda, that it, you know, it comes out of a place of greed and selfishness and, you know, the, 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 the common good is not seen as very profitable, in other words, you know, happiness mm. and peace are not profitable. Uh, and so forth, you know, and therefore they advocate the opposite, even though they don't want to appear to. Mm -hmm. you know? And that's another thing that I, I, I just, I'm frustrated with people's obsession with image over uh, content, if that makes sense. So they're more obsessed with how they look than with how they are. Uh, they this are. this is the philosophy corner segment of our stream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 that will... <laughs> uh, it's obviously working because um, we haven't died. So, yeah. you know, maybe we could just... It's because I'm not concentrating. I, I'm just running around in circles, ca occasionally turning around and firing my blast furnace gun, and then continue. Yeah. <laughs> that is the strategy in a, in a, in a, in a nutshell. Yeah. Um... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, it's like the fact that the world is incredibly materialistic. Mm. I get that people's want for things that they don't necessarily need and their um, misguidance in being unable to see where true joy in life really lies mm. and well, and their willingness to like step over other people to get what they want you know to just completely well i mean money is practically fetishized in our world but you know people are near stepping stones to acquire or save more money rather than the, than the reverse being true but i thought that money was you know there to make lives better for people, you know, where some people I think would be better off being married to their bank accounts, you know. Mm, I suppose. But then I think like the stepping over people is a subjective thing as well. Mm. Because yeah. it depends on, it depends on what like, you know, if it's for money or something, or if it's for a job or something, then I, I suppose that there is some level of frowning upon it. Um, but I think it's a bit more of a grey area. Mm. Well, the thing is, I think we could achieve a lot more if we worked together, rather than being so sort of isolationist and sort of um, <laughs> competitive, I suppose. I mean, I know competition does have its uses, especially where in the commercial industry perhaps, you know, with technology and what, what have you. Um, but there are damaging parts to that as well, I think. Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah. Surely it's got to be close to the end of the round. There we go, I did have the last bunch. I was like, there isn't, doesn't seem to be any more spawning here and I'm just running around with these six. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think we, we really even need a power back from about now, would we? We seem to be coping well enough. Well, I suppose we'll just have to wait until three big guys spawn and then we'll be in trouble. <laughs> yeah. More than likely. The only thing that's probably going to happen this round is my shield is probably going to break. Alright, well that's uh, not an issue. I'll, uh, I'll just make myself scarce whilst you uh, get in there. It's not happened yet, so I'll let you know when it happens. Hmm. I'm following your advice and training up this top end and it's seemingly working better for me than my other spot. Yeah. And uh, uh, the blast furnace will be helping immensely, I know. It, it, it seems to be. It'll save your bow, because I know that that's usually your primary, but um, you tend to run out of ammo quite quickly on it. And, and... Yeah, I've got 75 out of 75 at the minute. Mm. I, I tend to use the bow for emergency, really. Oh, there we go. That's helpful. Thank you. <laughs> I wasn't getting... I was getting low enough to start to panic a little bit. <laughs> Do you uh, have three guns still? No, because I lost that when I died the first time. Oh, I see. Otherwise, I've, I probably wouldn't have been as bothered about it. Because <laughs> obviously I had the ray gun, the bow, and my anointed Avenger, but...
Well, at least this is a better round for you than um, the previous time we played on this map. <laughs> oh, you know, we're spreading philosophical... <laughs> I was going to say philosophical bollocks, but it's not bollocks, because I've always found it interesting to hear other people's point of view. Like, yeah, me too. I know that I can... Um, Look, I don't think I'm as bad as trying to ram my opinions down people's throat. I don't think I've ever been like that, but I know that I can be quite blunt with my opinions sometimes. Hmm. Well, you know, it's not always a bad thing. I, I recognise there are times that people need to be blunt, and it's not something I've generally been actually that good at, so... Mm, yeah, well... It's, uh... I've always considered it the uh, my blessing and my curse. Like... I'm quite blunt and honest and open, and therefore it means that I don't often uh, like lie or bullshit or go beat around the bush with something. But at the same time, obviously, I know that I can be hurtful with it. Yeah, just uh, we have different versions of the same thing, I guess. <laughs> mm. Well, Aiden put it in like I was speaking to Aiden this morning, and he had said how he had like spoken to you and said about you getting in contact with me because I know we haven't spoken for a while. Um, hmm. And he's, he, he, I think he he sort of summed it up perfectly in the fact that we've known each other for so long and we've always been like this Lou Woods like double that it was like you can't have a Shane without a James and you can't have a James without a Shane. Yeah, he put it that way to me as well. Yeah. And I, I get where he's coming from. Hmm. I mean, I was thinking about our Star Wars sketch the other day. <laughs> Is that so? Uh, <laughs> so was I, actually. Oh, no, in yeah. fact, um, me and Kelly have been watching our way through um, Only Fools and Horses. I bought the box set um, because she's never seen them all. Um, yeah. And I was like, all right, well, you, you, you'll want to see them. Like, I know that she'll enjoy them because she has, like, obviously similar humor to us. And watching Only Fools and Horses, although I haven't gotten to the specific episode with it in, but watching Only Fools and Horses has completely reminded me of uh, the creation of Boris and that day <laughs> in, in Wyatt Place, the old place, where um, we... <laughs> Like, did the sketch, the nice and smooth yeah. twig, nice and smooth, broke the bed, and then we're playing track and field. How am I doing, okay. Shane? And, like, look up, and you haven't <laughs> even left the starting line. Like, you know. I think I accidentally set off an alarm in your house as well. Because <laughs> my dad had given me this thing. It's like, um, you know those alarms that if you get in trouble, you pull out a thing... Oh yeah, yeah. It's a really high pitched sound, mm -hmm. and you were like, "Oh, how's that work, James?" I was like, "Well, I'll show you." And then we panicked. I lost the thing temporarily. Your parents were getting annoyed, and it was like, oh, <laughs> "Sorry, I'll shut up a little bit." But yeah, I was thinking about um, the Star Wars sketch, and the, you know how a lot of the time I, I kind of loved your bits more, like um, with the guards, especially because <laughs> you just you, you interrupted me so well, so perfectly. It just worked. Well, we have always had the ability where, um, you know, like you'll create a premise and then I'll be able to build on it mm. or vice versa. Like we've always been able, like we always bounced off of each other. And I have missed that. I have missed you. And I'm not going to deny that. Like it's just been odd and I understand it. Like I understand the reasons behind it. And I, I've tried to be as respectful as I can. Um, it's just like I'm not, you know, it's here we are on YouTube getting soppy towards each other, but I have missed you, and I feel that there's just a lot of misthinking on both of our parts, probably. Maybe, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and I suppose, you know, even I was feeling a bit nostalgic when I was thinking about those, those sketches, you know. Yeah. Well, there's, there's a fair few. Yeah, well, but, yeah, we had a, almost a career of them. And maybe it was, it was the writer in me, to some extent, especially with the, uh, the Star Wars one, because it's our only scripted one. 
Mm. Um, I genuinely think it was probably one of our best. To be it was our best because, it, like, with spontaneity, there are times where... Um, dry, yeah, like, it's not cohesive. Mm. Um, I'm coming down for a shield. And the cohesiveness not being there meant that there would be some hilarious moments, but there would also be a lot of rambling. Yeah. <laughs> Did I just run past the door? It's a good thing I've got this trap on. There we go. The archway to get down to you. <laughs> I forgot where it was because I'd been up there for so long. <laughs> I'm here. Okay. Oh right, I, th I thought you'd gone already. No, I'm, I'm I'm heading. I'll do the loop round to the jump pad, and then I'll um oh. go up through the well and go back to where I was. Because mm. I had I turned the electric tra trap on. So it seems to be working for you then that spot. Yeah. Uh, the but yeah, the doob sketch was uh, spontaneous and I thought was really good. But there was also oh, okay. a, a lot of randomness to it. Whereas, <laughs> you know, we started off the Star Wars sketch with randomness, but then we built upon it and put it all together into one cohesive sketch. And I suppose, in theory, our Birkin hair was also scripted, even though it was an assembly. Yes, we, we, we rehearsed that, didn't we? So yeah. We so... followed a certain structure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Apart from who the man, Mr. Hode. <laughs> Guys, why on earth did Dan do that? That's the last person you'd probably say that to. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't get the response he wanted either. Mr. Ho just kind of smiled quietly to himself and then just had to carry on while yeah. I nearly cracked up. <laughs> uh. um, we seem to unintentionally gain popularity from that too, and I actually found that I was actually quite uncomfortable with that, so it's. Uh, no, it's probably why I've never sought fame because I thought I could. I just can't cope with that. I mm. mean, to be fair, maybe the media would just find me boring, and that's my hope. But no, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> well, it depends because I think you can do well and successfully without necessarily having to be famous. Yeah. I'm not, like obviously there's the comedy side of things, but you were script writing as such. Ooh. Which, like, on reflection, I feel like, <laughs> you know, like, you went in and you did that as, like, your master's degree, and I'm like, you know, on, on reflection, that makes a lot of sense, considering you wrote Terminator 2 on your PC when you, you know... Wow. That was a novelization rather than a script. I know, um, but you novelized it from memory. It's like, there must have been some enjoyment from writing that, because I couldn't sit there. I know you didn't have much else to do at the time, but the fact that that's what you chose to do, you know? Yeah. There was, but I, I found that actually, maybe it's more of a recent thing, that when I'm actually writing, it doesn't feel... I don't feel like some kind of enjoyment. It actually feels like I'm a, like a surgeon. All right. Routine operation, you know, so it's 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 very sort of detached and mechanical and you know quite cold. Whereas, you know, even this to an extent, even zombies, because I've gotten an, you know a system in place that's so reliable, I just sort of just go about the system and you know everything's fine. It's not as if I don't enjoy it, but um, you know, I suppose it's just a personal problem that I'm sort of having. I'm trying to actually find things I enjoy, and that you know they seem quite few and far between. You get lethargic with things. Sometimes. Um, it's just, you know, I've, I've, I've always been very sort of, um, I don't know if motivated is the right word, but driven by necessity, you know, of not things that have blood. to be done. Um, and I, you know, I can do them quite well. I mean, even at my job, but I've got systems in place for how I do my job that are very efficient and they get things done. But, um, but even then, I will say that there are times that I find some enjoyment out of it, especially when things are not too 
busy that I can just relax and sort of you know, go about what I need to do in my own time. And, um, and you know, I think ironically enough, that then maybe it may be the case that I probably have more freedom as a cleaner now than a writer, you know, writing for some big company. I suppose. Did you recently have a bunch of new starters or a new star? Um, well, what's happening is we, there's, since there's a new uh, warehouse going to be opening in Exeter, they're uh -huh. being trained at our warehouse. So I think we're still having new starters anyway. Uh, they just seem to come in and out, especially like uh, even agency workers. Uh, the thing with dogs are here. Might be a third one if we're unlucky. There's one right by yeah, me. Okay, uh, you know, if you want to activate the trap, you go ahead. Never uh, mind. Or if you want to die, you can do I that got too. killed by the second one that ran up to me. Okay. Um, I, sh I might, I should be able to get you, but it's, it's going to be a bit of a tricky one. I'm still by the electric trap. I haven't set the electric trap, so. Oh, excellent. Okay. And I do believe that one of them is... Well, he's bounced away now, but he was pretty close to death. Oh. Dog. Alright. Oh, alright. <laughs> I sort of panic because, um... There's one there. Alright, what we're going to try and do, if we're going the one that's here right behind you, it'll leave mm -hmm. enough breathing space. Can we do that again? It's just you should have had someone start there recently called Ian. Um, really? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Oh, we killed them. Um. Well, no, the, the, the dogs are dead, not the things. Oh. Uh. Would you know who I'm talking about? Ian. Um, I've not come across him, no. Oh, it's just that he worked at, He was like one of the very first people that I spoke to at Morrison's. I worked with him for like 13 years and uh, he finally left to go and work in your warehouse. Interesting. Um, as a picker? Uh, I, I assume so. One down. Uh, rocket test. Alright. Uh, well, okay. Uh. Whoa! I'm so confused. Hang on, I'll. That's a good idea. Yay! Oh, God, I can't see anything! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's still insta kill, so don't worry too much. Right. I was literally blinded. <laughs> oh, I think that was actually a good uh, little system we had going there. Mm -hmm. I only went down the once. Right, I need to get double tap back. Oh, yeah, I should probably uh, not stay, stick around here because it's. Uh... Gonna kill me? <laughs> Sorry about that, I didn't realise I'd quite leave you in the lurch like that. <laughs> you were like, it's getting crowded in here, bye Shane! <laughs> <laughs> Good luck! I yeah, I thought that would help you rather than... <laughs> Let me tell you, I'm dying, so it didn't help me.
Okay. And then I can loop around that way, sweet. If this works out, that is. Oh god. <laughs> well then. <laughs> I go down and everything goes to pot. Well, I was at the time drinking my juggernaut when you went down. <laughs> uh, my shield went and all my widow's ones were used up, so it was a bad, bad thing. Oh, okay. But, you know, I think we made... It's round 38, that wasn't bad, that was a good run. Like anything over yeah. 30 is normally a good run, so... Mm. <clears throat> Thank you to nobody who watched <laughs> this video. <laughs> if you watch this later... Hi, James. Thanks for watching. Right. This is the end <laughs> of the video. <laughs> And for anyone else that may stumble upon this video and watch the two and a half hours of uh, us running around being philosophical and um, being soppy and reminiscing, then like and subscribe. We are Barbie's Garden Variety Gaming and we do a variety of random things, uh, multiplayer games, racing games games where which a, a series that we like to call idiot plays which is our resident idiot no2 matia um so please subscribe and thank you for watching bye bye